Bonjour guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to review the head loss equations. We're going to go over Darcy and Hazen Williams. Now, when we are trying to determine the friction factor using Darcy, that can be really confusing because on the FE reference manual, the equations are everywhere and they're not really organized. So make sure you guys watch to the end of this video because I'm going to share with you guys some tables, concepts and equations that are very important for these type of problems. For more videos covering important equations for the FE exam or if you're just taking engineering classes, make sure to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell so you get notified when I release new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Also, make sure you stay until the end because I'm going to be announcing an exciting new FE exam prep course and I'm also going to share with you guys some practice problems that you can use to study for your test. Oh yeah, Head loss equations. Now you guys don't need to write all this stuff down. I can share this with you, I can send it to your email. I will let you know at the end of this video how you can get this overview. Now make sure you guys add this to your cheat sheet. I already talked about the importance of having a cheat sheet. If you guys haven't watched that video yet, I will leave the link above there in case you guys want to check it out. There are two types of head losses. We have major and minor losses. Now major losses are usually due to friction. Minor losses are due to fittings, sudden pipe contraction and expansions. Now in this video, I am mostly going to cover major losses. If you guys want to see a video on minor losses, let me know in the comments below. So we have two equations to calculate for the major losses. We have Darcy and Hazen Williams. So which equation do you use? Well, it depends on the variables that you are giving in the problem. So in a problem, if you are giving dynamic or kinematic viscosity and the roughness factor, you have to use Darcy. Now Darcy equation is provided to you on the reference manual on page 110. So this is the equation right here. Now for the velocity, the diameter and the length of the pipe, well, we use those for Hazen Williams as well. Most of the time, these variables will be giving to you. However, you should know that these variables can also be found on the reference manual. So if we go to page 118, you are giving two tables, one for SI units, the other one is English units. You are giving the dynamic and kinematic viscosity. On page 119, we are giving the roughness factor. Now let's go over the steps on how we're going to calculate the head loss. So first, we need to find Reynolds number because we need to determine if this flow is liminar or turbulent. So the equation for Reynolds number is provided to you on the reference manual on page 109. So we have two equations. One has dynamic viscosity and the other one has kinematic viscosity. But note guys here, this one has density. So which one do you use? Well, it depends whatever you're giving in the problem. If Reynolds number is less than 2100, it means that we have liminar flow. And to calculate the friction factor, we usually use this equation is equal to 64 over Reynolds number. You don't need to remember this equation. It is provided to you on the reference manual. So if you go to page 119 on the Moody chart, it shows you here that we have liminar flow and the friction factor is equal to 64 over RE. Once you calculate your friction factor, you can go to the head loss equation, just plug in all the numbers and you can easily solve for your head loss. Now let's take a look at the case when we have a Reynolds number is greater than 10,000. Well, we have turbulent flow and to calculate the friction factor, we use Moody chart. And to use Moody chart, we need to first get Reynolds number, which we already calculated for at that point. And we need to do the roughness factor divided by the diameter of the pipe. So the Moody chart is on page 119. Here you have the Reynolds number and then this is epsilon over D. Once you get those two numbers, you can easily find the friction factor. Also, you guys don't need to remember these. They are provided to you on the reference manual on page 109. Let's go over the head loss equation. Now, if you guys plug in these units, you should get feet. Now the head friction or the head loss has to always be in feet. Why? Because when we are using Bernoulli equation, and if we include the head friction, it has to be in feet because every term in the Bernoulli equation, the pressure head, the elevation head, velocity head, those terms are in feet. And for the units to add up, your head friction or your head loss has to be in feet as well. I already did a video where I calculate the head loss using Darcy. I will leave the link above there in case you guys want to check it out and you can see how we apply these equations. So let's go over Hazen Williams. So in a problem, if you are giving roughness coefficient, you have to use Hazen Williams. So don't confuse roughness coefficient 
with the roughness factors because this is for Darcy, right? Now, the head loss equation for Hazen Williams, it is provided to you on the reference manual, but it is not under fluid mechanics. It's actually under hydrology and hydraulics. So here you are giving the equation for head loss using Hazen Williams. Now on this table, you are also provided the roughness coefficient. Usually in these type of problems, you will be giving the velocity and to calculate the flow rate, all you gotta do is use the continuity equation. So velocity times the area of the pipe. Once you get the roughness coefficient and the flow rate, then you can easily use this equation and calculate for the head loss. Now again, all these units has to cancel to feet. I already did the video where we applied this equation I will leave the link above there in case you guys want to check it out. So a lot of you has asked me about the FE exam prep course and next week I will be launching the first course. So in this course, I will be covering concepts, examples, quizzes, and a practice exam. I will be solving every single problem and I will be there with you every step of the way. Now, this is the kind of course that I wish I had when I was studying for my FE exam. If you guys are excited about the course or if you just want to be added to the email list so you will be the first one to know about the course, let me know in the comments below. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, if you guys want the head loss overview or you just want some more practice problems for your FE exam, you can visit my website, just scroll all the way to the bottom. You can sign up or enter your email address and I will send them to you along with some tips on how to tackle this exam. If you guys like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Good luck with your studying and I will see you soon. A la prochaine. Oh yeah, everybody now.